Hello, and welcome to another edition of Tech Tips from cmmxyz.com. Today we're going to discuss how to utilize CAD inside Data Page Plus. Now this is only applicable to those customers who have purchased the Data View Plus option. What this allows us to do is to import CAD and use them in our reports inside Data Page. When we transfer data from PCDMIS into Data Page using the XML option, which is recommended, it only sends the data. It does not send the CAD model. Also, in our part view screen of data page, it doesn't include a snapshot of the image. Today I'm going to show you how to import the CAD model and how to create a thumbnail image for your part view. The first thing we want to do is double click on the icon for the database we're working with. And now we want to make sure we have a CAD report tab across the top. If it's not visible, click on Tools, Options, Visibility tab, and place a check on CAD Report. If this is grayed out, then it means you do not have the Data View Plus option. So we'll click on Save and hit OK. Now if I click on the CAD Report, send all my data across, you'll see there's no CAD. So let's go through the process of importing the CAD. So I'm going to click on my database name in the top here and select Upload Solid CAD Model. Click on the Add button down here. And then we can choose a file to import. Now it gives us a few choices. I've only had marginal success with CAD files and IGES. There's also Core View files if you use that software. The most success I have is the solid CAD files of XAML Solid. These can be exported from PCDMIS, which I'll show you in just a moment. So just select the file you want to import, hit open, hit OK. Now when we refresh, we now have a model here. I'm going to click on my CAD view option and switch to an isometric view. And now you see everything pointing to the right spot in the model. Fairly simple. Now, if I was to back out of my program, I also want to change my thumbnail. Now I can do both of these steps through PCDMIS. So let's open up PCDMIS and start working on exporting the data that we need. To export the model from PCDMIS, just open your program that relates to your database. Go to File, Export, Part Model, XAML, and Solid. Choose the file name you want to export it as. Hit export. Voila! You create your XML solid file that data page can import. Now we want to work on the thumbnail. The thumbnail is just a very simple graphic image. So you could really choose anything that you want. But if you don't have one easily available, I just find using PCDMIS is the easiest method. So just orient the CAD the way you want the thumbnail to look. Go to Operation, Graphics Display Window, Screen Capture. The nice thing in PCD is we can screen capture right to a file. So for my file name, I'll put it in the same location I'm storing my other models. And just call this Test Image. Hit Save. Now the image has been saved. So now we've just exported our solid model. And we've exported our thumbnail. So now let's go back to data page and change the thumbnail. We're back into data page. So let's show you how to change the thumbnail. Right click on your icon and click on change part thumbnail. Grab the test image that I created, hit open. And now as you can see, I've got my thumbnail inside Data Page Plus. Now, if the image looks a little smaller than you would like, this is because the images generally work best when they are a square image. So if you wanted to open up the image in a image editor, make it square, it will look a little bit bigger and nicer, just like the images beside it. Right now, I have a thumbnail to my project and I have a CAD model to report my data.
My name is Stuart Burke. Thank you for watching.